Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and you're watching some more XCOM Enemy Within. It's our subscriber squad. We have a council mission. This is uh, an incident at Newfoundland. Um, uh, it's a small fishing village and there's uh, reports of uh, alien activity that needs investigating. So I think we're going to uh, see what we can find. I'm going to uh, get rid of all of my squads and work out who I want to take. So first up, I think, uh, who do I want? Um, let's put Zhang in. Mick Mac, you can come along. We've got to bring our mech. Derek Belair is going in as well. Uh, I'm probably going to end up bringing all of my top troops, I think. So Rockefeller, I think you can come. Or do I bring Little Bucky? Yeah, okay. Let's bring someone for the med kits. Um, maybe bring two heavies. Uh, I think Winfrey's aim is better than Hunter Staten, so I'm... Yeah, 80 and... Where's Staten? Uh, oh, Nicky Seabee's quite good with 75 aim. Mr. Carlos, 72, blah, blah, blah. Uh, look at Johnny Micmac. 119 aim plus 10 with a scope. That's friggin' awesome. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen aim that high. Uh, Hunter Staten, yeah, 65 aim. Uh, I think Oreo Winfrey is the obvious pick to go for. Even Derek Belair's got pretty good aim, 88. So we're going to bring Oreo in free, and uh, I've noticed that Micmac actually has slightly better will, so he needs to go in the top slot, because that means that his will counts uh, for any other's will, I think, because of one of the medals. Was it, was it a medal, or is it something from the officer's training school? Um, and who else do we want? Uh, Winfrey, Bill Jobs, no. Maybe Nikki CB. Maybe Bazinga Baby. She's got really low will. Jesus. Um, I don't want to bring a rookie. I think it's. I think it's going to have to be Rockefeller. Okay. Oh no. Why have I put Viper in there? I want Rockefeller. That's it. Okay. So I think I've got everyone decked out how I want. Bucky. Um, Yep, with the med kit, two scopes, um, the nanofiber vest on Rockefeller, fine. I think Rockefeller and Bucky have got laser rifles as well. Okay, let's go. begin assault. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Right, Operation Lazy Shield. Investigate the site and identify and eliminate all opposition. Now, this is a mission that I've not done. Um, it's not in Enemy Unknown, so I, it's a council mission that I don't know at all. We'll see how it comes along. I'm guessing this is going to be a completely new map as well, then. Commander, we've been asked to investigate some unusual activity taking place near a small fishing village on the island of Newfoundland. Local government officials were responding to a mayday signal when all contact was lost. From the ship, the village, and the rescue team itself. Strike One will need to move in and secure the area. Let's see if we can find out what happened here. New objective received. Okay, so I've got to investigate the response team's disappearance. So I'm guessing we're going to find some dead bodies around here somewhere. Uh, there's no mels to collect, so it looks like it's just... Uh, well, there's a door right in front of us, so it kind of makes sense. I don't think there's any rooftops I can get to. Uh, I might be able to get up here and on these roofs to the right hand side. It doesn't confer much of a height advantage. And then obviously we've got the docks down the left hand side by the looks of things. 
Maybe I want to stick someone up on the roof. Let's do this. Let's get our sniper up on the roof so that he's got even more of an aim advantage, even though Johnny McMack probably doesn't need it because he's got, what was it, 129 aim? As you wish. Let's stack up in front of this door as well because you can bet your bottom dollar that there's going to be enemies in here. That's affirmative. I would think. I'm going to spread out for the time being. I'm not going to. I'm going to make sure that everyone's within relatively close proximity to one another, and not have someone zooming too far off into the distance. On my way. Trying to stick to full cover wherever I can. Uh, and my mech doesn't use cover anyway, so he can probably just go to this corner. So it looks like we've got the left side, the right side covered. It looks like we've got the middle covered in case anyone bursts through this door. So let's sort out some overwatches. Maybe open this door. Anything in there? No. In fact, there's another door here as well. Uh, we may as well stack up in front of this door and then next turn we can uh, open this door. And I would imagine there are going to be some enemies in this door. So we'll overwatch in case they try to rush us. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Uh, I don't think we are alone. Okay, so that looks like there's some enemies on the left hand side. Whoa! You've got zombies near your position, strike one, which means the chrysalids aren't far behind. We need to find out where these things are coming from on the double. We have a new objective. Okay, so we've got a zombie to deal with, which means chrysalids. Uh, that came out of nowhere. Oh well. I I think we've got the right sort of team to get rid of chrysalids. We've got plenty of rockets. We've got laser rifles. We've got our mech that can pack a good old punch if need be. And we've got Micmac, our sniper up on the roof, who can take things out from distance. Uh, oh, another zombie. You could, you could bet that he was going to burst out that door if we didn't uh, seek him out this turn. Okay, it looks like uh, Zhang can take this guy down. He's got bullet swarm, so he should be able to take two shots. 100% chance, excellent. And he's down. And he's earned a promotion as well, excellent. So, uh, maybe I want to get into full cover, if only because the aliens are definitely going to be down this left-hand side. Um, maybe I could take Sanctuary in here, because if they're going to do anything, they're going to burst through this window down the far side. I don't know whether Micmac's actually going to be any use on that roof. I'm, I'm going to have to move him next turn, I think. So it looks like we have a decent amount of coverage with Overwatch in case anyone decides to make an appearance. Nope. Okay, let's move Micmac. On the move. Uh, okay, no enemies uncovered. Switch to pistol and Overwatch. And these guys, I think I'm going to start moving them a bit further down here to see if I can uncover a little more of the map and see if I can identify some more aliens. No? Interesting. I would have thought I might have uncovered something there. Alright. If that's the case, my mate can go charging in a little bit. Okay. Bel Air can move up. That's two overwatch on this side. I think Winfrey doesn't have another turn, so Zhang can position take up confirmed. the position that Winfrey has vacated. Uh, Rockefeller, still want to try and keep her in full cover if I can. Uh, That's affirmative. I feel, Commander. We're taking it really, really nice and slowly. I don't want to uncover loads of chrysalids because the they road. can make up a load of ground very, very quickly. They've got big, big movement. Got it covered. So I want to be able to spot them and have plenty of overwatch so that as they advance, I'm just whittling the health Ready down. Zhang's going to reload. 
he's already taken a couple of shots, so I want to make sure he's got full ammo. I'm going to move Micmac again. He's he's no use up on this roof. I'm on the move. I might try and stick him up on one of these towers a bit further ahead. Uh, now, how far do I want to push forward? Uh, let's move Rockefeller forward first. Uh, I could probably just dash her. Yes, sir. Just so that she catches up with the rest. Uh, okay, Belair's going to be my sacrificial lamb because he's got the most health. Position confirmed. So if anyone uncovers any aliens... I want them to be shooting at my mech, or indeed, if it's a chrysalid, you can trot on over. That's affirmative. Let's get into full cover. Still nothing identified. Wow. Okay. I'm on the move. Still nothing. All right. Oh man, Zhang's movement is not very good. I'm moving. He can't move position. very far at all. It doesn't matter if he's not in cover, there's no enemies on uh, in sight, so uh, I'll have an overwatch shot and then get an opportunity to get into cover next time around. No, still nothing. Right, this is eerily quiet. I'm not liking this one bit. I have a funny feeling that all hell is going to break loose any second. Roger that. Scanning. Overwatch. Let's overwatch and let's see if... During the enemy turn, they can't I we can't identify what sort of direction they're in. Oh, ah, oh, another zombie. Ah, this is this is easy. Zombies move so slowly. I should be able to take this out. <laughs> Although not with the Overwatch shots. Come on, another Overwatch shot. Yep. Come on, Mick now. We knew that you weren't gonna miss. Right. He did six damage with a pistol. Shit. Okay. God, that's two shots in a row. That's terrible. That is not good. Let's see if Winfrey can get the kill. 80%. Come on. Yeah. And you're down. And Winfrey's got a promotion as well. So that's both of our heavies who have promotions now. Excellent. Okay, we can get Mick Mac up in one of these towers. That should be prime sniping position. I hope. Uh, Zhang. Oh, Alright, okay. There's a very nicely uh, placed tower here. I'm a bit worried that if I rush here I'm going to be able, I'm going to uncover everything that's right ahead of me, so I'm not going to rush to the front of that tower just yet, I'm watching for so that everything else stays in the shadows and I don't uncover enemies that I don't want to. So I'll make sure that everyone's in a decent position. Uh, Rockefeller... Uh, there's okay. as good as anywhere considering we haven't uncovered any enemies. And low cover is fine because you're getting the protective fields from Bel Air, so that should give you enough to count as full cover. Right, Micmac can't see anything, so let's move Zhang forward and see if we uncover anything. Ah, yes. But something about that shark just doesn't look right. Uh, you're right. It's it's bubbling. There we go, five. He's got another shot if we need to take it, but maybe we start moving some of our other squad members up here. Bucky has got a really, really good range to her movement, so we can stick her up in this tower and get her right into the action straight away. In fact, uh, let's take the shot with Bucky. And the zombie's down. Now my concern is that if that shark is bubbling, moving around... Oh shit, I really didn't want to do that. Okay, we've got chrysalis to contend with now. 
Um, and they've managed to negotiate themselves to a position where I probably can't hit them too well. Okay, Micmac can definitely see them, so uh, we can hopefully take one of them down quite significantly here. Uh, do I want to go? I might want to go for the headshot and try and critical. Uh, no. Okay, five damage. Winfrey looks like she has a shot as well. And Rockefeller. Uh, okay, I've got two shots. I definitely want to take one of the chrysalids out, but... Maybe I want to take both of them out with a rocket. A shredder rocket will uh, eliminate one and no will one mean that the other one takes even more damage. That might be the option. Yeah, okay. So that's one chrysalid down and hopefully... Rockefeller can take out the other chrysalids with her shot now. 62%. Mm. I might try. Maybe run. Maybe now's the time to run and gun. Get closer. 62% is not a great shot. Now the problem is if I miss this, I'm putting Rockefeller right in the line of fire of the chrysalids. So <laughs> this isn't without its risk. If I overwatch, then uh, if I miss uh, this with everybody else, then hopefully I'll give. Oh, it doesn't matter. She takes the shot anyway. But in theory, an overwatch from Bel Air would have at least protected Rockefeller. Okay, here we go. Ah. We should probably let Dr. Vala know about this. I doubt one chrysalid and a shark was enough for them to overrun this town, though. Keep an eye out for anything else the chrysalids might be nesting in. Great. Okay, so we've got to beware. There's sharks all over the place. There could be chrysalids bursting out to every single one of these. Bucky taking down another chrysalid. And a promotion. A Bucky might deserve a medal after this one. Okay. So, what sort of direction do we need to go in? I'm just going to keep pressing forward, I think. Um, let's use Bel Air as our scout, considering he has the most health. I don't think there's anything that is going to dilapidate Bel Air's health in one go, so we can move him forward with a fair degree of confidence. Maybe I do want to get Mick Mac up here. That tower didn't end up being the greatest of sniping positions. But this tower looks like I might be able to sit on the end here and take out all sorts. Uh, I might use this as an opportunity to reload. See now, well, that's one of the problems with Bullet Swarm, as if it is a problem. Because he can take two shots in, in one turn if he's not moving. Um, I, I plough through the ammo. Absolutely plow through the ammo. Heading there now. Nothing to Run. see here. Okay, let's okay. overwatch. There's aliens about somewhere. Uh, and I think Bel Air is going to be the one. Okay, Bucky definitely needs to reload. Let's reload Bucky and get everyone in a position where. Okay, this looks like full cover and reload, I think. Oh. That ship didn't just run aground. It looks like it was overrun. I'd say that's the likely source of our chrysalid problem. Great, okay, so... I guess we should just be thankful it wasn't a cruise liner. We now know where we need to get to. There's plenty of holes in this ship, so it looks like we have a couple of points of entry. So... Do I need to go down here? I'll just sit on this roof for the time being and scope out where I can go. There's full cover there. There's full cover there. No enemies in sight, so you know what? I don't care if it's half cover when there's no enemies in sight. 
probably don't need to worry about cover at all, to be perfectly honest, but, you know, with I'll come with good intentions and make sure that everyone's still in cover. Micmac can probably stay here and provide some overwatch coverage. And Zhang, uh, not really many places he can go. We'll keep him up here. I'm watching for them. So I'm wondering over. Oh. Okay, that was just broken glass. Fine. I thought that was an enemy that was going to be busting out of the ceiling or something. So I'm guessing as we approach this ship, we're going to start to see loads of shit come up against us. By the sounds of things, it's going to be all chrysalids. What have we seen so far? Just chrysalids and zombies? Man, I don't know what this is going to be like on, on something like Impossible. Ah, okay, you can get up to the ship from here. Well, I think it's best staying above deck and staying as high as possible because if anything does come at us and we can see it from down below, then we do have an aim advantage if we're at a higher level than them. So I think I want to move everyone around here and then gradually move them onto the ship and onto the top deck. I'm watching. Belair's going to provide some cover through his natural support mechanism. Rolling. So as long as we stay all within this circle, then we've got at least some protection. I do like that distortion field. It's it's quite nice. It means that as long as you keep your squad relatively tightly knit and, cl and close together, they're pretty much all going to have a, a good defensive bonus. And don't get me wrong, the, the mech doesn't have uh, the ability to use cover anyway, so if he's out in the open, he's going to be the one that's going to get shot anyway. So to a certain extent, maybe that negates the fact that this distortion field is there, because if he's out in the open, everyone's going to shoot at him anyway, so regardless, On my way. you don't actually need to protect your other soldiers that much. I mean, I suppose they at least need to be in some cover. Okay, here we are. Uh, this looks like a good place for our sniper, maybe on this bridge. And it looks like there's a, a hole in the middle of the ship, so... Um, there's no, not really much full cover around here that I can get to easily. Oh, I uh, identified an enemy there and then he disappeared, so... And I can hear something. It doesn't sound like a chrysalid, they make kind of clicking noises. So I'm guessing it's a zombie. Ah. Yeah, I think I caught sight of the zombie in the below deck, so... Let's run and gun into cover, and then uh, we can overwatch from here. I kind of want to make sure that I've got plenty of overwatch. No, 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 I don't want to go under deck. That's a bad move. Uh, to that location. Bucky with her superior movement can get pretty much anywhere. So that's another overwatch we can sit in. Belair can overwatch as well. And Zhang uh, can't really move anywhere. I'm actually not too fussed about dashing him, to be perfectly honest. I think we've got enough overwatch to cover us for most scenarios, unless, you know, we uncover like three or four different enemies. And to be fair, if it's a zombie, they move so damn slow anyway. Okay. So Micmac's going to make his way up onto this bridge. Oh. oh man, there's two crystals right in this corner. This is worse than we could have imagined. Oh, holy shit. What the hell is that? that whale is some sort of hive. Who knows how many offspring they can produce? Great. There's a big whale in the ship, and it's going to be chock full of chrysalids. Strike one. Our sensor readings are picking up a whole lot of activity from inside the hold of that ship. I think you're about to have a lot of company headed your way. Nothing you've got on hand is going to be enough for this one. 
What we need is an airstrike. If you can reactivate that ship's transponder, we can have air support pinpoint your location and take the whole thing out. Uh, Objectives updated. We're gonna airstrike the shit out of it? Okay. Um, this means trouble, right? If there's too much, if there's too much for us to handle, and we've got to airstrike the whole thing, um, I'm guessing it's not going to start till we activate it. So we have a little bit of an opportunity to scope things out. But I don't want to sit around here for too long because I don't want to get overrun. Um, maybe we want to move close to this gap and take a peek. If I can get everyone to the edge of this gap a bit further ahead of us, then. Um, Again, hopefully we should be able to just take pot shots at anything that's down there. Although if it's chrysalids, they might be able to jump up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so Bucky's going to be the one that's going to end up going to this transponder because... I've got these two chrysalids to contend with as well. I definitely don't want to go down there. Going down there is a bad idea. sure about dashing here because it means that he's not going to have an opportunity to shoot. I do want most of these guys... Uh, if, I, if I go all the way back here, it's going to be in no danger whatsoever. And <laughs> Rockefeller is completely out of the action, so let's hold her back a little bit and overwatch, just in case these, sector, these um, chrysalids do uh, come up onto the top level of the ship. I'll be watching. So that's what, two or three overwatches? We should have everything sort of covered. Yep, here he comes. Alright, let's smash him. Nice. Hoorah. Hoorah. The target remains. Nice, okay, so that's uh, one chrysalid down. Uh, there's another one. Oh, on his way. Oh, shit! Uh, and another one jumping out the whale. <laughs> okay. So, Micmac has an opportunity to take this chrysalid down a peg or two. Uh, he's got a 100% shot on both. So, take your pick. Um, if he's got a 100% shot on both, then I'm, I know that... That's affirmative. I can definitely take them both out, I reckon, this turn. So, let's move people just generally into better positions. To take these shots. Um, the chrysalid's not in any cover, so everyone should have a good shot on this one up here. So if I take the shots Going with, you know, the likes of Zhang and Rockefeller for this one up above, and then the rest of them can take the one down below. So come on, Rockefeller. Yes. So down to two. Uh, Zhang's probably... I think Zhang's the best one to take this shot. Maybe I switch to the pistol and then don't use any ammo. And take the shot with Micmac. Yeah. Okay, Sectoid down. Not Sectoid, what am I talking about? Chrysalid. Okay, 90% shot, come on. Winfrey taking him down a peg or two. Only three damage, not the greatest. On, let's see if Belair can do any different. Six damage. Only needs five. I'm going to need ammo soon. Unit eliminated. Right. Okay. So. Moving to Overwatch. I don't know if there's anything else down underneath this ship. So, if I remember rightly, I'm missing a zombie, aren't I? I think I caught wind of a zombie down here at some point. Ah, yes, there he is. Just like clockwork. Now, they're really slow moving, so I shouldn't have any problem with a zombie at all, but these chrysalids are exactly the opposite. They're really quick, but hopefully I've got enough overwatch to take this guy down, especially from this height. I should be hitting him with overwatch from this height, even with the penalty. Micmac might switch to sniper rifle. I might just see if I can take him out without using the sniper. Uh, Belair has no ammo, so I'm probably not going to take the shot with him because I probably want to reload this turn. Roger that. Scanning. 
Winfrey can't see. Uh, I don't really want to dash with Rockefeller. Uh, maybe I do have to take the shot with McMack. Let's uh, let's slip myself right at the top so that I've got I'm a rolling. proper angle. Oh, I now can't see him. That was a bad move. Okay, so Mick Mac now can't take the shot, so he's going to have to overwatch with the pistol. Shit. But Zhang can see the zombie. And he should have two shots. So let's use the second shot, and this zombie should be a goner. Yes, he is. But Zhang now has no ammo, so... Bucky... Taking out the sectoid like a boss. Booyah. Right, I need to get Rockefeller involved in this sort of action, so let's move her up and overwatch her. Only one ammo left, but I, I just want to make sure that I'm not reloading everyone at the same time. So Zhang definitely needs a reload, and I think my mech, I think Belair needs a reload as well. Belair's got one shot. Uh, he can't take a shot, so I'm going to reload. Okay. One more chrysalids. Oh, two more chrysalids. Winfrey's got the shot though. Five damage, nice. And Zhang definitely needs to reload. Let's get that done first. Bucky could probably do with the reloads, but I'll see how I get on with these sec uh, with these um, chrysalids first. Uh. Bel Air, 90%, 98% shot. I kind of want to use Bel Air for the other chrysalid. Micmac can't see anyone up here. What a bloody waste of a move. He can't see shit. Covering now. This bridge was actually a bad place for him to go because these uh, chrysalids are all hanging around the side of this gap, so you've got to be right on the edge to see them. And Micmac just can't even even with squad sight can't can't get a decent shot off. Moving. Right, so oh man, Rockefeller still can't see anything from there, really. Oh, that sucks. Okay, Winfrey and Belair are the only two that have a shot, but there's the other crystal at the other side of the whale, so I. Kind of want at least one on Overwatch. Overwatch. So Rockefeller can go on Overwatch and then uh, Bel Air or Winfrey. Winfrey's already got a promotion, but. Uh, I think I want to take the shot with Bel Air so that hopefully he gets a promotion. Come on. Oh, yes. Bel Air has a promotion as well. Okay. That is good news. So Winfrey, Belair. There we go. And here's the chrysalids. Hopefully the Overwatch. Oh, Micmac can see this shot. Come on, take him down. Five damage. Okay. Not bad at all. Uh, Rockefeller has a shot. Miss. What a piece of shit that was. And she's now out of ammo. Oh, Winfrey can just about see as well. Uh, but Winfrey misses as well. Okay, I have a funny feeling this thing is going to jump up here. Don't hit me, don't hit me! Oh, okay, went for the mech. Was that seven damage? Ouch. Okay, I really can't afford to have these things get close. I realise that I'm now pretty vulnerable. Winfrey has no ammo, needs to reload, shit. Um, Rockefeller has no ammo either. Uh, in a little bit of a precarious position here. Maybe Micmac can take out the sectoid with the pistol. Of course he can. Okay, so Micmac's useful for when they jump up, but I really don't want them to jump up here. Okay, come on, Zhang. Let's see if we can take this chrysalid out. It's got two shots, which is going to be a thing of beauty. Come on. Oh man, didn't kill him. Uh, okay. Bucky takes... How many chrysalids has Bucky taken out now? Four, five, six? I can think of at least... Uh, 
there were at least two further back, and she's taken out at least another two or three here. That's a lot of chrysalids that Bucky's taken out. She's getting shit done. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm going to run out of ammo at an inopportune moment. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving Bucky towards this control panel. Now I'm guessing if there's an airstrike once I press this button, I'm going to have to leg it out of here. On Overwatch. So what I'm going to do, I think, is Overwatch with all these guys. Maybe reload with Zhang. Let me reload. Yeah. Please only be one chrysalid. Oh man, there's two. Uh, but this chrysalid should be toast. All the Overwatch shots. Nice. Oh, and Micmac managed to get a shot in for good measure. But Micmac now probably does need to reload. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to split this video in two. Please do come back if you want to see the resolution to this uh, mission in Newfoundland. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more XCOM Enemy Within. All of your support is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you again next time.